right, so we're about to start the pre-modification towing test. Um, just let me go over some administrative information here. So I, I fully acknowledge this is not gonna be a perfect um, comparison. Obviously there's gonna be some different things that change. Um, one being I will have new exhaust manifolds on, I will have new turbo adapters on. So um, that might influence the uh, performance a little bit, but I, I, don't, I think it would be negligible. Um, I do have a current um, exhaust manifold leak. However, I just, I just ran up the side of this mountain um, to where I am now and I didn't hear anything I didn't hear any whistling so um, I, I don't know how much of, a, of an effect it'll be today um, also I plan on doing uh, you know spark plugs di different oil, new oil um, and other you know just general maintenance things between now and the uh, the second test um, this this is intended to test the full race stuff including the oil cooler trans cooler and the new radiator and um, so a couple things about the truck it's uh, it's on 373s it's on 35 sorry it's, it has 373 gears it's on 35s the uh, thermostat in it is a 185 degree thermostat um, let's see the current ambient temperature is 71 degrees and it's a uh, 3.5 liter EcoBoost, and it's a 2013, so it's a Gen 1. This, uh, this test is about a five mile climb. Um, at, at its peak, it's a, or at its greatest incline, it's about a 6% grade. Um, I'll be going the speed limit, which is 65, so, and I'll be keeping the truck in tow haul mode and letting it shift on its own. I'm not gonna lock out any gears or I'm not gonna manually select any gears um, to kind of like put the truck in a um, worst case, more, you know, a, an everyday driving worst case scenario. Um, so we'll see, we'll see what that looks like. The AC, I currently have set to 68 degrees and I don't plan on changing that unless the truck's about to overheat. And at that point I will uh, turn the AC off and pull over. But um, w while I do this, I'm going to uh, say out loud the, the temperature every half mile. So starting at zero and all the way up to five. And, um, and then I'll make a graph or something like that so we can compare the data and, uh, and see if the full race stuff um, helped out. And the goal is to do it the same ambient temperature next time as well. So it might be dark next time because summer is rapidly approaching and um, we'll see how that goes. But, all right, so I'm gonna pull up to the uh, stop sign where I'm going to kick this off and then I'll reset the trip gauge. Oh, um, while I'm going, this is a 3,000 pound, well, probably around 3,000 pound camper. It's a, it's a small living light and uh, it is a pretty tall camper. I mean, it's probably uh, 10 feet tall or so off the ground. Um, so it act, does act like a big sail, which I think definitely affects things. But Obviously, 3,000 pounds is not a lot. It should not be a lot for a, a half-ton truck. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how, how much that temperature climbs. All right, the intake temperature is a little high right now. Um, that was because I was sitting in the uh, hot sun idling. Starting at 188 degrees at mile zero. We're going to do a moderate acceleration up to the speed limit. turbo leak now. Sorry, exhaust manifold. So this is a pretty common issue. A lot of, uh, a lot of EcoBoost owners, specifically in the southwest and uh, where there's hot temperatures, low humidity, steep grades, and while towing. Okay, half mile, we're at 213, 213 degrees. Currently in fourth gear, right around the speed limit. Okay, one mile in, we're at 217.
we're at 225. downhill here so that's gonna shed a lot of heat so I'm gonna end the test now um, with five miles of uh, data so we'll see uh, probably the next thing you'll see is um, the the second test with all the full race modifications so hopefully it does a little bit better because 238 I'm pretty sure it goes in the limp mode somewhere right above 240 I would have to look up and maybe I'll throw that on the screen now but um, yeah, it, it definitely it definitely gets up there and gets close to get, getting the lung mode. So, all right. It's finally time to do the post test for about a month later in time. And the things that we're focusing on today are um, the full race radiator, full race transmission cooler, and full race oil cooler kit. Um, just to, to repeat, a couple of different things that have changed are... Uh, new exhaust manifolds from CRP and new turbo adapters. That's the hardware that's changed. As far as, um, well, I guess technically I also changed spark plugs, changed oil, and uh, like cleaned air filters and stuff like that. So um, I think this will be a good indication. We got pretty similar conditions. Right now the ambient temp temperature is at 69 degrees. I have, once again, I have the AC set at 68. And uh, I think we're ready to go. Okay, pulling up to the stop sign. I'm gonna start it off. So at zero miles, we are at 185. Again, we're in tow haul mode. And I'm just gonna let it shift on its own. Half mile, we're 
at 205. based off first impressions and uh, the numbers that I can remember off the top of my head I think uh, I think it was quite an improvement um, I'm, I'm gonna feel a lot more confident this summer uh, you know towing it towing it in hot temperatures obviously this wasn't a super hot temperature but I think it'll give us a pretty good um, uh, showing of representation of 
the improvement that this uh, this system offers. So, all right, the next th next thing you'll see is probably me uh, me me doing a voiceover of the graph and uh, and then doing the outro. So, all right, all right. So here's the data. In red is our first towing test without the modifications, and in blue is with all the full race stuff put on. I threw in a little arbitrary danger zone to represent uh, when, at least for me, I'm worried about the truck uh, going to limp mode and overheating. I couldn't find an exact number, but um, I know it's somewhere around uh, 240 or above. So, um, as you can see on the first towing test, we got really close to that, and it wasn't even that hot out. It was only about, you know, about 70 degrees or so. So that's definitely concerning. And if you compare that to the, the second test, you can see we're about 5 to 10 degrees cooler throughout the run. Um, and at the end, definitely a little bit more of a spread there. So I think this is pretty clear evidence that uh, it, it is effective. And I'm hoping that once the temperatures actually get hot, um, it, it keeps me below that danger zone. So one thing I wanted to reiterate was that on the first run, the truck shifted down in the third gear. Uh, in the middle of the run, and uh, that theoretically would have helped the uh, the coolant temperatures because uh, you would be spitting at a higher RPM. On the second test, the truck never shifted into third gear mid run. It was fourth gear. Once it shifted into fourth gear, it was in fourth gear uh, throughout the duration of the run. So um, that would have made it harder on the cooling system on the second run. And uh, but as you can see, like the the full race equipment uh, definitely made up for it um, as because it's you know it still was much cooler in comparison all right guys so I know that was a long video if you stuck around this whole time I appreciate it um, if you came here because you're also having issues with your uh, EcoBoost overheating while towing hopefully you got some answers or um, hopefully this information will help you make a decision I will report back if there's anything significant um, to happen or if it's working great this summer. I'll try to let you guys know somehow, maybe, uh, maybe in an Instagram post or something like that. But um, I appreciate you watching this and let me know if you have any questions. I'd be happy to help. Thanks.